Welcome back to the Sick News Network. It's Monday, April 20th. I'm Roman Ray. Now to your weather. Hello and welcome to weather. For today, it's going to be slightly cloudy with highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s. For Tuesday, it's going to be pretty sunny with highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s. For Wednesday through Saturday, it's looking, but it's alternating between a thunderstorms and heavy rain with highs in the 60s and 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s. For Sunday, it's also going to be pretty sunny with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. For Monday and Tuesday, it's partly cloudy with highs in the 60s and 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s. Now that's all for your weather. Now for your local news. Parents and students, you can stay up to date with your grades in your classes as well as assignments that are missing by logging into the parent portal. Teachers are posting grades as assignments are being turned in and graded. If you need help to log on, please call the office between 8 and 11 daily at 417-779-5331. Sophomores, if you weren't able to pick up your class ring at school Friday, Contact Jocelyn's to make arrangements to pay your balance and have your ring shipped to you. Call the school if you have questions. Seniors, Miss Jackie needs to, needs you to reply to her email with the information she requests. Please and thank you. Please get back with her as soon as possible. Seniors, have you checked out all the scholarships that are posted on Miss Linscott's website? There are numerous offers just waiting for you to apply. Your bank account will thank you later when you are attending college in the fall. Contact Miss Lynn Scott if you have any questions or need help. The ACT, the ACT test will be given at Blue Eye High School on June 13th and July 18th this summer. This test is a must if you plan on taking the dual credit course or next school year or plan on attending college in the fall. Sign up online if you are interested. If you have questions or need help signing up, contact Ms. Linscott at klinscott at blueeye.k12.mo.us. If you are finished reading your library book and wondering how to return it to school, let me tell you how you can. One, bring the book to school when you come come to turn in assignments from 8 to 1.30 on Wednesdays. Two, bring your book when you come to pick up meals from 10 o'clock to 11 weekdays. Three, give the book to, deli to the delivery people when they deliver your meals to your house. The countdown is on. We have one month of school left. Teaching and learning will continue as it was the past three weeks. The teacher calls video conferencing post lessons and learning packets, please make sure you are completing work as it is assigned. Some of you are doing better than th this than others. You will be given credit for all work that is completed. Stay informed and up to date on what's going on in your classes. Make sure to check your school emails and Google Classroom daily so you don't get behind. Free breakfast and lunch pickup from 10 o'clock to 11 is going on on the high school for students 2 to 18. If you need delivery, call the school from 8 to 11 to get on this list. That's all for your local news. Hey guys, it's Jess. Tomorrow for breakfast, we'll have soft-filled cereal bars with a juice, and for lunch, it'll be a ham and cheese wrap, a fruit, and a vegetable. Both are served with milk. Pick up times from 10 to 11 at the high school, and if you guys still need meals delivered, let us know. Thanks, guys. Hello, and welcome to birthdays. For today's local birthdays, we have Grayson Fairchild and Kylie Berry. That's all for your birthdays. All right, today's daily video question, I asked the students what inspires them. It's not really a hard, complicated question, but it's really hard to answer sometimes. So I wanted to know what inspires them, who inspires them, how it inspires them, and here's what they told me. Um, so to be honest, I don't really have anything that inspires me. Um, I kind of just want to inspire myself to be me and be the next me, and I don't really want to be like anybody else. So um, I don't really have anything that inspires me, anyone. Um, 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's just nothing out there that really inspires me to be what I want to do. So, um, yeah. Okay, question of the day is what truly inspires you? And I feel like the best way that I can say what inspires me is people that have really just excel in something that I wish to excel at as well. So for example, a lot of artists that I follow on social media is really inspire me in the way they draw, how they compose their pieces, what color palettes they usually use. Um, a lot of that stuff really does influence me and help me grow in what I like to do. Um, another thing is music. Honestly, just seeing something like Bear, a pop opera, it was just two guys in college that wrote a musical together and then fought their hardest to get it in a theater, and the first set was made of cardboard. And I just think that's the coolest thing ever, that such a cool pop opera can just be made out of almost nothing. And it was still an amazing show. It just started from very poor roots. And I think that's really cool to see, and i like to see more of that. So that's what inspires me, seeing people that go out of their way to make their passion projects come true. I think what inspires me is uh, watching my parents do the work they do, um, having to earn everything that we have, and uh, just working through God and for God um, and honoring Him and whatever they do. Um, what inspires me is a song. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but the song is called Nobody. And every time I listen to it, it really just like just lets me feel free and it like, I don't know, it just pushes me to do better. It, um, it's like so good. It really makes me feel like. I was put in this world to do something, so it just, yeah, inspires me. For the question today, it was, what inspires you? And for this one, I, there's a couple things, I guess. For the most part, I'd say music. I have, I've listened to an assortment of music, and a lot of times I can get pretty pumped about it. Um, there have been times where I'll listen to a song and it, like, I'll immediately just, like, get really hyped and start bouncing and singing along to it because it just gets me so excited and it, it inspires me to do mostly art. Like, a lot of my, uh, inspiration goes into my art, but, like, it, it can be pretty good. People. People are also an inspiration. It isn't really specific people, it's just people in general. I see a thing on the internet talking about people doing things. And I'll just be like, wow, that's really inspiring and that's really cool. And then I'll be like, oh, I want to draw about this. I want to draw anything. Just being inspired can really fuel the creative mind. My mind's really simple when it comes to inspiring things. I don't know. <laughs> Your national day for today is National Cheddar Fries Day. Um, Snuffers Restaurant and Bar founded National Cheddar Fries Day in 2016 to celebrate the delicious combination of cheddar over crispy french fries. And Snuffers Restaurant was also the home of the original cheddar fries in 1978. That's all for your national day. That's all for your news today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And that's your news with a Z. I had a ball Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But it's all over now and it show is Monday. Now for your random fact of the day. McDonald's buys more than 3.4 billion pounds of U.S. potatoes annually for its famous golden fries. So now you know.